the LOL Bakery, two very special little LOLs had an idea. Oh, hey Neon Cutie, how you doing? Why is Neon Cutie not talking? Hmm, don't know. Hey Snuggle Babe, fancy seeing you at the bakery. Yeah, what the pajamas. Um, she's also not talking. So strange. Little did Fancy and Sugar Queen know that that's not Snuggle Babe and Neon Cutie. That's just their fake Play-Doh cookies. And today, oh. I can't believe those are fake Play-Doh cookies. Looks like it was too much for poor Fancy to bear. So today we're making Sugar Queen and Fancy into LOL fake Play-Doh cookies. You can call it crafts, you can call it whatever you want, but we're gonna use some fancy cookie cutters and turn our LOL dolls into huge versions that we can keep. Wow, that's amazing. I want a giant cookie, I mean fake cookie form of myself. Yeah, totally, I do too. And can we get griddles on it? Okay, so the main things we'll need for this is some white Play-Doh and a rolling pin. And of course, Sugar Queen and fancy cookie cutters. We're gonna take a bit of Play-Doh out. Okay, now we can roll it up into a nice circle ball. That'll make it easier for us to roll it out in an even shape. Nice, now we're gonna take our rolling pin and just start rolling it out. Okay, that's about as flat as I want to get it. Now let's get the first part of our cookie cutter in the Play-Doh. Press it in really nicely, making sure all the parts are pressed evenly into the Play-Doh. Then for the second part, now this part's super important because we're getting Sugar Queen's details into the Play-Doh, so we're gonna press all throughout the cookie cutter. Okay, it's time for liftoff. Get this part off first. And the second part. Wow, she turned out really nice. Time to get the extra Play-Doh off. And we've got the perfect Sugar Queen fake Play-Doh cookie. And now it's Fancy's turn. Let's roll out a little bit of Play-Doh for her too. We're just gonna do the same steps that we did for Sugar Queen. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna go for the first part of Fancy's cookie cutter. Press that in. And now for her details. Okay, time for the big reveal. Let's get the first part off. And the second part. Ooh, Fancy's looking real fancy. Let's get the extra Play-Doh off. And now we've got two very awesome LOL fake Play-Doh cookies. Now we can go ahead and fill in the details with some acrylic paint for Sugar Queen's fake Play-Doh cookie. Oh, I love it. I want it glittery and sparkly and shiny. You got it. We'll make it glittery, sparkly, and shiny for Sugar Queen. First, I'm going to paint in her flower crown. Now the cool thing about these is that you can keep them forever because once the Play-Doh dries up, you'll have a bigger version of your favorite LOL doll. And you can use them to decorate your vanity. You can poke a hole through the top right when the Play-Doh is still soft Play-Doh. And once it hardens, you can put some really fancy schmancy string or ribbon through the hole and you could use it as a necklace or whatever you want to use your LOL Play-Doh cookie for. Let's fill in some of the gaps here. Now let's paint in her hair. It's a really nice purple color. Moving on to the sides of her hair. And of course her eyebrows. Now this is gonna be a tricky part because I don't wanna get the paint all over the place. It's a really tiny spot and it's kind of like a crease because of the cookie cutter. So I'm gonna try to get in here with this small brush as best as I can. Okay, so that's good. Now we can fill in her eyes with this blue shade. 
being careful not to get all over the place because it's so easy with these cookie cutter creases. Okay, let's get some black on her pupils. And this will also cover any mess ups that we have on her eyeball. Just cover it up with paint. Especially on this eye cover, cover, cover with paint. Oh, I want it so far. It's, it's a spitting image of me. Spitting image? Why would you want to spit on an image? It's, it just means it works exactly like me. Oh. Time to get some color on her lips. Oh, and I almost forgot. We're gonna do this a little different from what the cookie cutter lips look like because I want her mouth to look a little more like the LOL doll mouth. We can easily do that by adding a little circle of black in the center and making some lips around the black circle. Now moving back to her eyes, I'm going to add the eyelashes. And let's add some whites to her eyeballs. And maybe we can add some sparklies to her eyes. Now we can move on to her outfit. Her top is a hot pink color, so we're gonna get the same color on her top as her flower crown. Now for her skirt, we're using a lighter purple color, like a lilac color. And her bows on the skirt are the same color as the skirt. Plus, let's not forget the bows on her top. They're the same color as her top. And now all we got is her little shoes. They are hot pink and they've got little straps on them even though the cookie cutter doesn't have those straps. We're still gonna get those on there. And finally we're gonna color her skin. All right, so now we've got the Sugar Queen fake Play-Doh cookie done. Once she's dry, we're gonna go in and add her glitter. In the meantime, we're gonna start working on Fancy's fake Play-Doh cookie. Yeah, finally, I can't wait to see mine. I bet it's going to be amazing. So starting off with her bow, Fancy's got a lighter pink bow. All right, so now let's move on to her hair. Fancy's hair is brown. Let's get a nice brown going on in her hair. Now I could always make these into real cookies. If you guys want to see me make these LOL cookie cutters into real LOL cookies and not fake Play-Doh cookies, let me know in the comment section. Or better yet, I'll have you guys vote in a poll. There will be a little eye that pops up to the right of the screen and you can click it and that will have a poll for you guys to vote if you guys want to see me make real LOL cookies instead of these fake ones. Because these are kind of like crafts and you can keep them forever. Now the cookies will be a little more difficult to make only because of the decorating part. Because decorating with paint versus decorating with frosting is definitely a challenge. So we're gonna go for the eyebrows now. Ooh, and also let me know which LOL cookies you guys want to see on the show. Okay, so moving on to Fancy's eyes. They are like this bright blue color. Now we're gonna do her lashes and the pupil of her eye.
Now let's paint in the whites of her eyes and that will make her eyes look more like the LOL doll. Moving on to her lips. Now the noses kind of sort of get smushed with the mouth sometimes with these cookie cutters. So it's going to be hard for me to draw an upper lip for her. Just like it was with Sugar Queen, it was kind of hard to get the upper lip on there. But we'll give it a try and see how it goes. So here's the upper lip and the bottom lip. Now we can paint her outfit in. Her collar is white. Her top is pink. We're going to use the same pink as we did for her bow. And her skirt and the bow is hot pink. And let's not forget the bottom of her skirt. That part is white, just like her collar. And while we're on the white paint, let's paint her shoes white. The bottoms of her shoes are hot pink, just like her skirt. And also she's got some pink socks. We're going to use the pink that we used for the bow and the top. All right, so now we're going to paint fancy skin. Let's do her face first. Now we're going to move on to her ears, then her arms, and her little legs. And now we're going to get her with Sugar Queen to dry so we can add some final special touches. Alright, we're back with Sugar Queen and it's now time to get some Mod Podge or you could use some glue on her hair to get her glitters in there. We're just going to make sure we have a nice even coat of Mod Podge. Okay, time for some glitter. Let's make sure it all gets on her hair and it doesn't stick anywhere else because the Play-Doh is still soft and moist, so it might stick to other parts. We've also got a glittery part on the top area of her skirt. Let's get some Mod Podge on there. Time to get that glitter on there. And I haven't forgotten the top. Let's get some Mod Podge on there and on her shoulders. For the top, I'm going to use a hot pink glitter. Alright, time to get that glitter off and see how it turned out. Alright, so we've definitely got glitter in more places than we needed it to be. I love it. It really looks like me. And it's shiny and, and sparkly and, and everything I, I asked for. Awesome. So Sugar Queen loves it. Yeah, I do. I really do. And now it's Fancy's turn. Now Fancy is not glitterati like Sugar Queen, but we are doing the glitter series version of Fancy. Yeah, make it glittery and make it shine like the stars. Okay, let's get some Mod Podge on her hair and I'm just putting this Mod Podge on in globs. That way I can cover more space faster. Now with Fancy, her glitter doesn't look to be brown, it looks more like an orange color. So that's exactly what I'm going to get on her. I think that glitter is pretty close to what she has on her hair. Let's make it rain orange glitter. Moving on to her top, let's get some Mod Podge on there. Quickly working because Mod Podge dries really, really fast. Here's some light pink glitter for her top. And for her skirt, we're going to use some darker pink glitter. This color matches really nicely, so let's get that on there. And now let's get the extra glitter off. Nice! I think this turned out really good! I do too! I really love the glitters everywhere! Because glitters are a girl's best friend! Well, at least they're my best friend! Well, it's the end of our show! Let me know in the comment section which LOL cookie you like the best. Is it Fancy's Play-Doh LOL cookie? Or is it Sugar Queen's? 
I most certainly think it's mine. Well, I most certainly think it's mine. But yours is nice too. Yeah, yours is nice too. <laughs> yeah, it really is. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And also, don't forget to vote in the poll to the right of the screen which other LOL cookie cutters you guys want to see on the show. And also, let me know if you guys want to see real cookie versions of these LOL cookie cutters. In a couple of days, these LOL cookies will be looking like they're friends. They'll be nice and solid, and you can use them for whatever craft project you want. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to join the fun. And until next time, hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.